What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today we're going to be doing some Tyrannus videos, and you'll see a series of those videos coming out next, and pretty much this video is going to be about is how to set up your switches and how to set up a new model on your brand new QX7 or even your uh, Tyrannus. It should apply to every single model of Tyrannus out there, uh, just your buttons will be a little different. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the bench and show you how to set up those uh, switches and also how to set up your brand new model. All right, guys, we're at the bench, and we're going to go ahead and set up a new model and then kind of just walk you through that process and then set up a couple switches to show you guys how to do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the main screen. So this is a QX7 Tyrannus, and this button right here, this is how you get into your main screen right here to select your models. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to a new model, 13, and what I'm going to do is hit Select great model. And it's going to load these thing here. I just click plane and then yeah, that's fine. Channel 1 is the throttle. Yeah, exactly. And then I just hit exit and then that's pretty much how it gets into there. So now we're in so I hit page. So went to there. That was good. And we're in the actual model now. But now what we're going to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and edit some of this model settings. We're going to hit page to get into this page right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just name it whatever. And this is how you name it. So you click on this, name it, and I'm going to name it bar, but I'm going to capitalize the R. And to capitalize the R, you just hold down this button, and then it's capitalized. So that's done on that. And then when you're done writing whatever you want, just go to a, like a little block like that and hit pay exit and then you have your model name. So now we're going to go ahead and scroll down here. And all this stuff you don't need to change. Now this T warning, this is throttle warning. So if your throttle is up and you arm it or whatever, it'll warn you that you're, you know, when you turn the radio on that your throttle is not down all the way. I usually leave that stuff off because I have an arming switch and I hate when it warns me. Same thing with switch warnings. If your switches are off, whatever, it'll tell you that warning too. So if you're forgetful of where having your switches, it might be good to have these on. But to shut these off, what you do is just select it like that. And then you just click it through those little arrows and you just click them all so they all shut off. And you won't get any more uh, throttle warnings or switch warnings when you start up your Tyrannus. When you're done, you hit exit and then you're back here and right down here is your mode. Now D16, that's used usually for RXSRs, uh, DX4Rs, um, XSRs, and if you're using like an XM Plus receiver or XM receiver for FrySky, you want to go ahead and put this on D8. And if you're using a Crossfire like I do, you want it off with the external module with this one on. Actually, it'll say crossfire right there. That's how you activate the crossfire. But I'm not going to mess with that at all. I'm going to leave it all off because this is a test model. And then we have that stuff we don't mess with, and we're back at the beginning. So next thing we want to go ahead and do is set up some um, switches. So we're going to hit the page button one time. We don't do anything in that screen. So we're on page four with the input section. So pretty much this is what it's telling you is the inputs to the Tyrannus. So you're gonna be signing your switches. And so what we're gonna do is click on five, which will be your aux one. And we're actually gonna do that. So when we name this, we're gonna name this arm switch. too far. Let me fix that. Oh, I just deleted it. Alright, we're going to do it again. Sorry. So arm. A-R. M. Alright. Done with that part. So next we're going to go to name, and we're going to put this as, we're going to name this A1, so I know what's the auxiliary one. done. 
And now the source, this is where you set up your switch. So whatever switch you want to use for ARM, I usually use the top left one on top. And I have that now as SF, that's the switch name. Click enter, and you're pretty much done. So you can exit, exit, and then we'll set up another switch as well. And we'll name this one, I don't know, something short. We'll have this name it uh, roll for like actually flip, for flip over under after crash. So I can use turtle mode. So FL. Oops, that's where, that's fine. And then A2. And then done with that. And then for source, I'm going to pick up this source right here. Which I use this three uh, position switch, which I only use it actually as a two position switch. And that part's done there. So we're going to exit inputs. So I have my two switches, and you can set up as many switches as you want as long as as many switches as you have. And then the next part we're going to go ahead and go to is go to mixer. So on channel 5, which actually is auxiliary 1, it already picked up that I'm using the arm. So we're going to name this arm again. I, I mean, you don't have to name it. You can skip this part, but just for consistency, I do name it again. So we're going to put arm in there. Exit, and then we're going to do this one. See, already has it as FLJ, which is supposed to be flip, but it's fine. And I'll just, I'll just put an F here. You understand it's flip. And then exit that. So those two are set up. And then we're going to go ahead and go to outputs. And this is how you can check if it's actually working. So I'm on channel 5. And channel 5, remember, is my auxiliary 1. And you see how I went to 2012. And when it's off, it's 988. So I'm going to highlight channel 6 and check to see if this worked. This is off, and that's on. So that's how you get your switches set up on your Tyrannus. Um, probably go ahead and stay tuned in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up audio warnings and also how to set up, you know, to pretty much make it when you switch stuff on and off, um, it actually says what it is that's on and off. Like, for instance, engine on, engine off, um, hover mode or non-hover mode, all that stuff. So stay tuned to the channel. I hope you appreciated this video and hope you guys found it useful. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments, and I'll be try I'll try to happy happily answer any questions you might have. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.